Okay, today I'm talking about 360 breathing and how it's properly done. So it teaches you how to breathe through your diaphragm, not your chest, um, to help engage those deep core muscles that pregnant women need before and after pregnancy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit on a chair, sit on the edge so you're sitting up nice and tall, place all your fingers on your rib cage, thumbs in your back so that you have, you can feel the front side and back of your 360 breath. So as you inhale, you're gonna expand through your ribs, front side and back, and then exhale and think of pressing the navel, to, the navel towards your spine. So inhale. You want to make sure that it's not a huge belly breath like yes your belly will expand when your ribs do um but you don't want to just breathe through your belly because that is not doing it properly so make sure that as you inhale it's through your ribs front side and back exhaling drawing that navel in to um, target those deep core muscles Okay, here's how to 360 breathe. If it's too hard to do it seated and you feel like you can't feel all of your like core muscles engaging, then do it on the ground first until you master it. But make sure whenever you're getting down to the ground, you don't wanna just throw your body back so that it puts pressure on your belly, especially when it grows a lot bigger, it's gonna like hurt even more. So make sure you sit down on your side and then slowly lay down. You want to place all your fingers on your rib cage, thumbs on your back so that you can feel the 360 expansion when you're breathing. So inhale and expand. Exhale. Engage. Use your hands to push in that navel towards your spine. It's also helpful on the ground to feel your back um, pressing into the ground each time. Okay, once you've mastered the 360 breathing, laying down and seated, you can start to incorporate it into your movements. And that's why 360 breathing is so important to keep up throughout your exercising as you're pregnant and postpartum. And for anyone who works out a lot, it's just good to always keep your core muscles engaged. So for example, I'm gonna show you the squat. So as you practice your 360 breathing through your movements, you wanna think of exhaling on the effort. So when you are going down the easiest part of the movement, so you inhale here and then exhale, squeezing. So same thing with a row. You want to think of inhaling as you lengthen, reaching down to the ground, and exhaling, pulling up. So you're always exhaling on the effort. And the last movement, so this one, um, there's a little bit more intensity, a little bit more instability. So when there's more intensity and more instability, that's when you want to engage your core even more and your exhale needs to be that much greater. So for example, a reverse lunge to a knee lift. So you're stepping back and then exhaling. So really engaging and um, using that core as you come up to help with your balance.